All right, so it looks like Coach Willie, that FAMU, is going with a new quarterback. They got McCason on the bench, and now they got the uh, freshman, Junior uh, McCovac, I believe. The true freshman, number seven. I, I'm sure you guys seen him in the fourth quarter when they brought him in. Um, they're going to be going up against Fort Valley State this weekend at home. Now, this is going to be a home game. So the freshman is going to be a lot more calmer, you know, heading into this weekend. Now, um, things are going from bad to worse for Mikado. Um, for him to be in the program for four years, for him to sit behind Ryan Stanley, you know, and it was cool for him to sit behind him because Ryan Stanley what was the better quarterback. He was the he was the older quarterback. He broke records. He led him to victories, and he was he was really really good. And he gets his first opportunity as a full time starter against Jackson State, and he ends up losing the job in three quarters. You know and. That's that's his own fault. Now, when Coach Willie was telling the, the media that he didn't know, like it was a week of the game and he was still trying to figure out who the starter was, I thought that he was playing mind tricks. I didn't know that McKay was gonna look this bad. Like he didn't he didn't look good at all. Like off off target throws not staying in the pocket like bad reads like he he looked god awful and you can tell how much better junior was compared to mckay once once he got into the game like they definitely started moving the ball a lot more he definitely throws the ball a lot better than mckay and you can see why they made the switch now I don't know where McKay goes from here. Like, he gotta be at home sitting like his mind is like completely blown away that he lost his job to a true freshman. Like, I don't know, like, I honestly don't know where you go from here. You probably gonna have to transfer. I, honestly, dog, like, I don't know how you get your job back after that performance you, you put on in front of 30,000 fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was that was prime time. You know what I'm saying? So you know you had the whole country watching. So I'm pretty sure fam, you felt embarrassed because their offense is more fluent than that. Especially when you have, you know, the top two receivers in the SWAC in, in Xavier and Jimenez so I, you know, it was, it was tough to watch. Honestly, it was really tough to watch. So I don't know if he's gonna transfer. Um, middle of the season, I don't know if you know. Look, cause you're not getting your job back, dog. I don't, I don't know what what you plan on doing, but you ain't getting your job back. Like he, he's not getting his job back. You know, so. I think his best bet, if he wants to see any playing time, is for him to try and transfer. You probably gotta transfer to another SWAT school, or you can try any CIAA or SIAC school. You know what I'm saying? As long as you keep it, you know, HBCU, it's fine over here. But I just don't know where he goes from here. Because it, it, it gotta be embarrassing for him because He's a red shirt junior. And you've been there for four years, dog. You've been there four years. So I don't know, man. I, I just don't know where he goes from here. But they got Fort Valley State. And I expect FAMU to win that game. I expect their offense to put up some points with Junior in the lineup. He does look like the better quarterback. He does look it. So, you know, hopefully they'll be able to score some points and get their momentum back up. But McKay, man, I I definitely feel sorry for you, dog. 